<laughs> Honey Heart C. Hello, mini fans, and happy 2018! Woo! So let's get started and play the very first game of the new year of Star Stable. So here I'm riding on Spirit, so we are gonna be doing some quests today. So let's get racing on over to the Harvest Counties, and let's continue doing some quests over there because I wanna know what's going on with that town. It is a really interesting town. It's kind of a strange and eerie town, and I would like to know more about it. So me and Spirit are just gonna go over there and find out. So here we are, let's cross the bridge. And, oh, we've got someone new to talk to here. Who's this? This is Anna. Welcome to Wolf Hall Inn, Conference Center, and Spa. Of course, you and your horse are welcome to stay the night. No problem. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we are welcome to stay the night here at the inn, but we're not staying the night for now. We are going out and to do some quests. Oh, wait a minute. Let us check some fan mail here. Oh, look at the fan mail. Hi, honey. I'm a fan or will be a fan of every channel and every channel you have. If I'm not sub, tell me the name because I only know of Cookie Twirl C and your Honey Heart C. And of course, I have my game channel as well, which is Sugar 8 Cupcake. Hi, Manny fan. I have three channels that you can sub to and Sugar 8 Cupcake, my game channel. So let's keep riding along. Look at all of these trails and there's like nowhere else to go except for following the trails. So it's really kind of cool here. Totally different than Moreland. Ooh, look at this. We get to go underneath here. Just keep riding along. Hopefully we'll be in a town soon. We don't want to get lost out here. I guess you can only get lost if you go off of the trail. Oh, here's someone to talk to. So we will talk to her. I love her little cottage. Okay, Mrs. Pike, could you help me with something? while you're here. It just so happens that the road heading south is closed now. I don't really know why, but a year ago in 2017, our neighbor, Harold, put up a fence between our properties. We've always got along, but then suddenly overnight, there was a fence there. We haven't heard from him since, only seen him from a distance. Besides our broken friendship, it's caused other problems. For instance, bottles from his bottling plant have started floating ashore on our beach. I don't know why he's throwing the bottles into the sea. Okay, Okay, so let's go find out what is going on with the bottles and we're gonna go pick up those bottles that keep washing up on Mrs. Pike's beach front here. Wow, this is pretty cool. This all belongs to her. So let's ride on down here. Seahorse Beach. Okay, here's a bottle. We'll pick that one up. And here's one. Here's another bottle. One more to pick up. There we go. Okay, I have all the bottles. Ooh, wouldn't that be cool if there was messages inside of the bottles? There just might be. All right, Mrs. Pike, I have the bottles. Thanks, that was kind of you. Something must have happened to Harold. It's not normal to shield themselves from the world like this. Now, what is he doing? Should I go check on him? Does he live? Where does he live? She said there was a fence between their property. Oh, it must be this way. Do you think it's up this way? There's a lot of fenced off areas around here. All right, so let's come on over here and let's talk to the mayor. So here's Jack. Hey, Agata, welcome to Jarlheim, the world's favorite place. What can I do for you, Agata? You need to see Herman. That was so typical. It's like the only only thing I can't help you with. Herman has gone, disappeared, nowhere to be found. Um, that's weird. When we need him most, he goes on vacation. Oh, vacation. However, you can't fool this guy that easily. I've come up with an awesome idea. I've called for an election because I'm quitting. Someone else can take over this lousy job. He doesn't want to be the mayor anymore? Ooh, do you want to find the way to Jorvik Stables? Uh, sure. I know Johanna, who works at Jorvik Stables. If you help me with my awesome plan, I'll call and tell her that you need to get a hold of Herman. She might be able to help you. Do we have a deal? Take these ballot papers for the new election and hand them out here in the city, and I'll prepare for the next step of my plan. Okay, so we're gonna hand out the ballot papers for the new election. So I wonder who the new mayor is gonna be. Can I hand them out to these girls? Okay, delivered one in the mailbox, and deliver one here. So let's go down here. Put one in the mailbox. There's gonna be a new mayor in town. Look at all these closed shops. Why did they close up? Is business not good? Did something happen? Ooh, there's a star hiding. Gotcha. Okay, there we go. So I put every ballot inside of the mailboxes. Did it go well? Nice. Okay, now it's time to start the next part of the plan. We have to find new candidates for this paid job. I've already spoken to the most suited, but they weren't willing when I asked them. Next guy that would be perfect is my dad, Jacob Goldsburg. He would be an awesome mayor. He's very clever and he helped my mother a lot when she was mayor. Ask my dad if he'd like to run. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna go talk to his dad and see if Mr. Goldsburg would like to run for election. Is this him? No, that's Jill. 
So let's go over to Mr. Goldspur's house. Oh, the Goldspur Mill. Well, this is a very, very wealthy family. All right, right here on Mill Road. Which one is the Goldspur home? Is that him? Jacob. Oh, I've told Jack a hundred times I won't run. Oh, come on. It's too painful to take the job that my lovely wife used to have. It would remind me of her every day. I couldn't bear it. Do you know what happened? No? Right. You're new to the area. My wife, Evelyn Goldspur, was the mayor of Jarheim. She made the city prosper and everyone loved her. Then one day she vanished. I waved goodbye to her in the morning. And the only thing I know is that she was going to the opening ceremony of the new GED mine in the evening. But apparently she never showed and nobody knows where she went. That is so weird. How could she just disappear like that? I don't know. It's strange that we didn't find a single clue and no one has seen her since she left of her office in the city. I know she's alive because if something had happened, I'd know it. Tell my son he'll have to find some other mayor. Wow. Okay. This There is something really weird going on in this town. This is so strange. So Jack's mother just disappears? I don't know. Something doesn't seem right. So we'll write over and tell him that his dad just doesn't want to be mayor. It just sounds like he's just kind of over it and he just kind of wants to relax now. Here we go. So let's go talk to him. Oh, so dad won't run. Typical. What if my mom was here, Agata? She would know exactly what to do about this. Talk to Philip Sunfield then. He is the same age as me, but a goody two-shoes. Educated and incredibly boring. He seems to be precisely the kind of guy people in this city like. Okay, so now we're going to go find Philip and see if Mr. Sunfield is interested. Is he in the field? Mr. Sunfield, are you in here? So here he is, Mr. Sunfield, Mr. Sunfield. Hey there, who are you? Nice to meet you. My name is Philippe and I run the Sunfield farm with my family. Do I want to be mayor? No, I got up. I can't run for the office of mayor. Evelyn was a good friend and I know in my heart she's still alive. If I took her seat as mayor, it would be admitting that she is dead and I can't do that. Yeah, what happened to her? I don't know. She was here for lunch the same day and everything seemed normal. She was attending the inauguration of the new GED mine in the evening and it sounded like she wasn't really looking forward to it much. She and Mr. Drake, head of GED in Jarheim, don't see eye to eye, but she was attending nevertheless. Tell Jack he'll have to find someone else. Okay, so Philippe doesn't want to do it. Okay, seriously, there is something seriously going on with Mr. Drake. I think he knows what happened. This little stable area is pretty cool. Look at the little horses trotting on their own. They're so cute. Sigh. So Philip did not want to be mayor. Okay, the first candidate that people can vote for is Dora. She's always been a calm, quiet person, working hard all her life. She's very interested in the history of the Harvest Counties and is passionate about the city. Oh, what if my mom hadn't disappeared without a trace? My mother, yes, Evelyn Goldsboro, the real mayor. One day, a couple of months ago, she just vanished and nobody has heard a peep from her since. Everyone has been looking all over for her, but there's been no trace of her. Incredibly mysterious. We'll have to talk about that another the time. Right off and talk to Dorothy. Ask her nicely, Agata. Fingers crossed. Maybe this Jill lady knows what's going on. Come on, spirit. We can do this. I hope he doesn't ask me to be mayor if nobody else wants to be mayor. Oh, a pumpkin patch. Oh, this is so cute. There's sunflowers on this side, but pumpkins on this side. And there she is. Oh, look at all of her horses that she has. All right, Doroth, run for mayor. I've already told Jack I wasn't thinking of running. You can tell Jack I won't run for election. We have too much to do here at the farm. So many difficult things that have happened. It's so sad about Evelyn. It's hard to imagine a better mayor. One day, everything was normal, and the next, she vanished. What happened? The only thing I know is that she was attending the inauguration of the opening of the new GE mine in the mountains, but she obviously never made it. Mr. Drake got in touch during the evening and wondered why Evelyn hadn't attended the ceremony. Apparently, she was going to sue the city for insult and lost marketing opportunities or something. You'll have to ask someone else. Give Jack my regards and tell him to find someone else. All right, so I guess that's a no. But that's a yes on how cute her horses are. Look at the little Appaloosa running off. Aww. All right, so let's talk to him. Sigh. So that old carcass Doroth didn't want to run. What am I going to do now? None of the candidates I've entered on the ballot papers want to run. My plan just went down the drain. I'll have to think of something really clever, Agata. I'll have to give Johanna at Jorvik Stables a call. I promise I will, but not quite yet. Come back tomorrow. I promise I'll call her. See ya. 
Okay, so he's doing his own thing. We're gonna talk to Jill because she's been standing around in her fancy blue suit and red boots and we wanna know what's going on with her. Good day, who am I talking to? Honey Heart Sagata? How lovely to meet you. I noticed you were talking to my brother, Jack. He isn't, how should I put this? He doesn't have the necessary capability to function as mayor, but our father insisted he should take the job. I'm guessing he wants Jack to grow up and learn to take responsibility. I apologize, I won't bore you with our family affairs, but as you understand, I'm busy trying to get Jack to do what he should. Would you be able to help me with a little something? Would you? Yes? Yes? It's very simple. Jan submitted an application for building permit several weeks ago. It's routine work, and Jack should have signed off on the application the same day it arrived. Could you get him to sign off on the paper? Okay, so hopefully we can get him to sign off on the paper. This mayor business is not easy. So let's talk to him. Jan's building permit application? Never seen it. Uh, what? You want me to sign off on the building permit application? Ooh, can't it wait? It's so incredibly boring to shuffle paper and stuff. Why do I have to do this? Can't we play a video game or something instead, Agata? Ride a horse? Only one paper, you promise? Okay. Okay, so he signed it. Now we're gonna give the application back to Jill, which she shouldn't just be able to walk over here and talk to him. I mean, look at that. You can see both of them right here. They're just a few steps away. Did Jack sign it? Fantastic. Jen will be very happy. Hmm, you know what, Agata? I believe you'd be a great help here in the city. I'll keep an eye out for more issues. Okay, cool. <gasps> you can buy horses here. Ooh, who is this beauty? Oh, these horses are so pretty. They're so pretty. Okay, I'm not a high enough rider to get any of these horses, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love the Arabian. Do they have white Arabians in here that look like sugar? Oh, I would love that so much. This one's so cute. This one's a little Arabian thrower bread. Oh, same thing with this one. This one's gorgeous. Look at those blue eyes. Oh, what if I open this up? Oh. <gasps> Oh, I opened it. Look at how cute. It's like a little petting zoo. There's little sheep and cows in here. This is so cute. Aww. All right, pretty cool. So we were able to do a couple of different quests here in the city. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any Star Stable videos. You don't want to miss out on any of the quests. We need to figure out what is going on here. So press that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, mini fans. Oh, no, I'm off the path. I think I'm going to be lost. No. All right, many fans, who remembers? Who is missing again? Is it Jack's mother, sister, or father? Bye!